First-time runners at last weekend's London Marathon have been finding out how training for and running the race has affected their heart. It's through the University of London, which is looking at why some athletes' hearts look like they might have heart muscle disease. Here's Paul Hawkins. Can you a week after finishing his first London Marathon, 29-year-old Perry Lamas is at Bart's Hospital, the largest cardiac centre in Europe. Perry is one of 120 18 to 35-year-olds who have agreed to take part in what is the biggest study of its kind in the world to find out how running a marathon for the first time can affect your heart. I agreed to take part in the study, uh, study because, um, yeah, I mean, uh, it sounded like such a good thing that benefit um, a lot of people down the future so hopefully we can get some good results. Yeah. Will you be running it again next year? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, yeah, definitely uh, give it a go. Yeah. This project allows us to uniquely understand how the heart adapts with training in the marathon in this case and we hope it will be able to understand the overlap between health and disease and allow us to refine our understandings of, of, of where adaptation turns into maladaptation. During this year's marathon, soldier David Seath died from a cardiac arrest. And while concern has been growing about the effects of endurance events, thankfully fatalities during the race are rare. The death rates in the London Marathon are about 1 in 52,000. And no different from other sports such as football or basketball, these deaths usually occur in males who already have a predisposing cause. The findings of this year's research will be published next year when the team are planning to study the over-35s. Paul Hawkins, BBC London News. Yeah, yeah.